Hello and welcome to the Investor Bros Academy. Today, we will discuss the first thing you see when you log into a trading platform or when you think about the stock market. And that is the most used trading indicator called the candle or candlestick chart. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And why not subscribe and hit the bell notification button. It's free and you'll be updated when we post a new video. Remember, this video is just the first one in a series of free technical analysis tutorials we plan on bringing to you. We know that many of the terms used may seem complicated. Some would say that they were specifically designed to be difficult for everyone to understand but we promise to use a language that is user-friendly. Some small bit of history behind this candlestick graph. It was invented by a Japanese rice merchant named Homa Monehisha almost 300 years ago. It's important to note that even back then, he discovered that some price patterns were repeating themselves. As we said, you've certainly seen these candle-like graphs, but what do they really represent and why some of them are red and some of them are green? Well, you can think of a candlestick as a representation of the price of an asset in a given period of time. And yet, why are some of the candles red and some are green? Well, it's simple. A green candle indicates that the price of an asset has increased. While a red candle indicates that the price has decreased in the given time frame. So as the price moves up or down, so will the candle indicate the same change. As we mentioned, it's an indication of price over time. Okay. And yet, you may be wondering what we mean by this time frame. Quite simply, any candle can be a reference of time of your choice when looking at a graph. A candle can be a minute, one hour, or multiple hours, even a week, or a month. It all depends on what you wish to see when you're trading and how detailed you want to see the price fluctuations. We'll also cover why it's important to look at a candlestick chart over different time frames in a future video. Let's now analyze in more detail what a candle entails. And let's take the example of this candle. As you can see, it's made up of several elements. The thickest or colored part is called the candle body. This is the price area where our asset was generally traded for the longest period during the time interval. The thinner part called a wick or shadow represents prices where the asset was traded at a certain point during the time reference and it's what we call minimum or maximum price. And yet, how can we read this candle? What does it want to tell us? Let's start with the green candle to see exactly. As we said, a green candle indicates that the price of the asset has increased. More specifically, when a new hour started, the price of the asset was here. And during the interval, the price fluctuated up and down. As you can see in our example, the price fluctuated, even went lower than the initial price but it went up and at the end of the time interval, the price closed here. In the case of the red candle, the initial price was here. And during the time interval, the price went up, but then fell. And at the end of the time interval, the price closed below the starting price. As a general rule, the closing price for each time interval will be the opening price for the next time interval. This may differ for higher time frame candles due to the CME gap. Another thing to note, is that there are so-called small candles, which usually indicate a period of consolidation with low volatility. And large candles, which indicate a large volume of buys or sells, usually as a result of a rumor or news that impact the market. These candlestick charts are fundamental to understanding the price behavior of an asset in order to figure out whether we are in an upward trend or a downward trend. Therefore, they can indicate what position we should take in the market. It's a basic thing but don't forget that you can trade or make money regardless of the movements in the market. For us, it's important to correctly anticipate the next movements in the market in order to make profits. That's it for today. In our next videos, we will discuss the importance of identifying candlestick chart patterns in order to anticipate future price movements. As we mentioned, these graphs were invented about 300 years ago, but the price patterns we see in the market now were visible even back then. This indicates that we can anticipate, with some degree of certainty, what the next price move will be. That's it for today's course. 
We look forward to seeing you in our next video. All the best.